People say the media are liberal, and obviously they are, but that's not the whole story. More than anything, the national media are part of the establishment. They went to the same schools as the establishment. They share the same values. They're basically the same people. If you want evidence of this, look no further than the controversy over Donna Brazil's new book. Brazil once ran the DNC. So when she says the Democratic Party worked hard to steal the election from Bernie Sanders, you can't exactly dismiss her as a partisan or a kook. And yet that's exactly what many in the establishment press have tried to do for several days. According to highly informed sources we spoke to, highly informed, top management at CNN directed its employees to undermine Brazil's credibility. Anchors and producers there were vocally offended, many of them, by Brazil's attacks on their friends, the Clintons. If you've been watching that channel, you may have noticed CNN's anchors suggesting that Donna Brazil cannot be trusted precisely because she took part in efforts to rig the primaries for Clinton. Watch. She's the one who, th through somebody who doesn't work at CNN, got access to one town hall question and, and sent an email, which we know from WikiLeaks, to someone in the Clinton campaign to give them a town hall question, which is completely unethical. She wasn't doing that for, for Bernie Sanders. But, uh, do you take her at her word, Sam, given the fact that she lied about that CNN debate and giving those questions to Hillary Clinton ahead of time? <laughs> It's unbelievable. In retrospect, there's, it's, they're so obviously talking points. Oh, glad to know that. But CNN's not alone, by the way. Glenn Greenwald, The Intercept, wrote a great piece the other day in which he pointed out that journalists have repeatedly spread misleading stories designed to exonerate the behavior of Hillary Clinton and the DNC. NBC News published a story claiming the Clinton-DNC agreement only applied to the general election. If they'd simply read the agreement, they would have seen that's false. It applied to both. That claim was quickly, though, repeated by MSNBC, The Hill, and others. Again, it was false. Establishment journalists also claimed that Sanders signed the very same agreement that Hillary Clinton did. That's false, too. The media loves a scandal, but in this case, they can't seem to downplay this one fast enough. Donna Brazil isn't backing down, though. Watch this. For those who are telling me to shut up, they told Hillary that a couple of months ago. You know what I tell them? Go to hell. Go to I'm going to tell my story. Donna Brazil is going to join us on this show on Wednesday with her side of all of this. Meanwhile, Richard Goodstein advised Hillary Clinton on both her presidential campaigns, and he is brave enough to join us in studio. Darn right. Um, so in her book, and again, we're having her Wednesday. I can't wait to hear about this, but she says that she experienced sexism on the Hillary campaign. She wasn't taken seriously because she was a woman. And I, it raises the obvious question, which is, do you think the Democratic Party can handle strong women like yeah. Donna Brazil? So I don't know whether Donna Brazil is a kook, but she, what she says is kooky in the book and what she's been saying on wait TV. Let me give you an example. Wait, 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 I don't know why. Hold on. I thought a, the basic precept of liberalism is when a woman says she was mistreated for being a woman that you take her seriously. You don't dismiss her as, quote, a kook or a crazy person. In her book. Am I the feminist here? In her book, she says that sometimes men are not able to deal with women. This is being laid at the feet of people who work for Hillary Clinton. I mean, the fact is, these are people, Hillary Clinton was accused of only having women work for her when she was in the Senate. So you're dismissing her claim? You're dismissing her claim of sexism because why? Because yeah. Hillary Clinton's I think she's got a distorted what? view of oh, things. she's crazy. She's I, another, another crazy woman. I, I, I'm making saying, crazy, I'm, I get it, the crazy woman defense. I'm saying she's I've heard this before. Okay, because yeah. this, is, this is sort of Viably nuts. The political director, the Our communications Harvey director, is crazy me, too? the political director, the communications director, the digital director, you can go on and on and on, were women for Hillary. So the notion that somehow the Hillary Clinton campaign couldn't countenance a no, strong woman is crazy. I think the campaign man was it Robbie Mook is a man. And she, I'm just, look, all I'm saying is the Democratic Party has told me all my life that when a woman says she faces sexism, you're not allowed to dismiss her as crazy or it's that time of the month, or any kind of insulting suggestion that she doesn't have her full wits about her, you have to take her seriously. And I do take Donna Brazil seriously. Here you are, the Democrats, saying she's just another crazy woman. Here's the problem, I think, that, that Donna Brazil should have known better. Any um, presidential candidate, this is true on the Republican side and Democratic, takes over the National Party. Um, John McCain did that, put Frank Donatelli into the RNC. Right. And, and the Democrats do the same, it goes back decades, okay? Somehow or other, she acted offended as if somehow they were taking it out on her when they wanted to make decisions as opposed to her. So she's putting this spin about whether it's sexism or whatever, this whole, you know, 
this nonsense that she spit out about somehow or other because of her race or whatnot. It, it really is, you know, I so, wonder. So, okay, good. So just tell me, as yeah. someone who's kind of following along, yeah. sort of watching as our culture changes really fast, yeah. and I'm writing this down because I, I want to keep this for future reference. When are the times when I can just dismiss allegations of racism and sexism with the back of my hand and call them nonsense as you just did? When, when am I allowed to do that? When, when, when there's evidence to the contrary. And with the evidence here is, again, every single person who is not everyone, so many people at the, the top of the heat. Manager for the campaign. A man. Yeah, but the fact and there are lots of men on that campaign. Up and down, if you look at that campaign, it was uniquely um, kind of occupied by very powerful senior women. And again, what Donna Brazil was taking personally, look, again, John, this, she, yeah. she was Al Gore's campaign manager, okay. okay? So she didn't use Bill Clinton. There's a problem there, but it's not something that was Hillary Clinton's doing. Boy, you're very, very certain of this. It's interesting. I'm going to, if I'm ever accused of something bad, I'm going to use your technique. Which Please is, do. That's absurd. She's got to be crazy. Well, except the evidence. She's crazy. I'm not saying she's crazy. You I'm said saying she's that. wrong. You said she was I'm, a kook. I, I'm saying what she's saying sounds crazy because it is demonstrably um, uh -huh. disproved. Yeah, it, it hasn't actually been disproved. And, and you're making me even more anxious to speak to her uh, directly. Really quickly, though, part of what's going on here is that the Clintons are losing control of the Democratic Party. It's not their party. The base doesn't agree with them on key issues. Clinton's may be actually right on some of those issues from my perspective, but whatever. But the truth is, they're not going gently into that good night. Their time is over. It's been eclipsed. And these are kind of the last gasps of this political aristocracy that has been in power for 25 years. Isn't that what kind of is going on? Well, I will say there is a tug of war going in with, on within the Democratic Party between the Sanders and Warren wing and the wing that frankly has won presidential campaigns. Uh -huh. Now, there's this talk about Democrats being in disarray. Is Elizabeth Warren a kook, by the way? Uh, is she she's not a kook. I have, I have great regard for her. Her allegations of sexism she, she, just crazy? I, I think what she said about the uh, things being rigged is flat out wrong. And in fact, even Donna Brazil yesterday on the Stephanopoulos show yeah. said it, things were not rigged. Okay. So that, that's, She's that's crazy. Look at. God, yeah. I, I'm never going to use that, but, you know, that's just me. Richard, great to see you. Thank you.